Yesterday, the quartering made a video called Stepping Away, and it had a thumbnail with him on it, and it said, I quit, which led to a lot of speculation about exactly what he's doing. I'm going to talk about exactly what he's doing, which is really a cool thing in just a second. But look, this is all in the wake of what's happening recently. Nick Ricada was banned from YouTube like that. We need to decentralize what we're doing. I'm not saying don't watch things on here. I make money off this, so I would appreciate you continuing watching things on here. But we do need to have these decentralized platforms. The era of the centralized internet, where everything's a monopoly on one spot, just because that's where the main people aggregate, uh, really needs to end uh, because it is unhealthy. We've seen that it leads to censorship. Uh, it's e that it leads to corporate control of narratives, that we're not allowed to say what we think, say what we feel. Gosh, I mean, it's getting real scary out there. We saw what happened with Kanye, with Alex Jones this week. Uh, it's amping up. And of course, this happens every time it's election season. Whenever it gets close uh, to uh, that happening, uh, the people who are on the front lines of the culture war actually just get yanked, and there's not much we can do about it. But at least there are some budding alternatives starting, and I'll get to what's happening in just a second uh, so we can talk about it. My name is John Delarose. I'm a number one bestselling author and award-winning comic creator, so I'm doing multimedia uh, in order to try to replace geek culture, to replace what Disney's doing, the centralized Disney Warner Brothers monopoly or duopoly that's been going on for decades in entertainment. Uh, me and others are working on this, and I've been working for a while. I do journalism. I've worked for The Federalist for Bounding Into Comics. Uh, I still work for Bounding Into Comics, and among others. And we're, we're, we're really, really on the precipice of something new, something different that's going to be awesome. So let's get to what the quartering's saying, and then, uh, and then what we're doing at the same time, uh, because I really like this. I think Jeremy Hambly is taking leadership here, and i got to give him credit on that. So let's take a look. All right, so he made his video, and I watched this uh, last night. And uh, he talks about how he's really trying to move away from Twitter and things like that. It's not the first time. Uh, so he has uh, really tried to push Parler. Uh, Parler wasn't the best platform. Uh, but now he's uh, on Locals, and he's moving on Rumble. He's, he's saying that he's going to be making new content on Rumble that's exclusive once a week. Uh, he really wants to push community, as he says. Uh, Gilded is a, a wonderful thing also, uh, where it's a, a kind of a chat room sort of thing where you can actually interact with people. I like that kind of thing better. I mean, back in the day, if you remember when the internet was decentralized, we had IRC chat rooms, uh, we, had, we had different message boards, and that's how we communicated. And it was uh, a little bit better because it was all based on topics or based on people, and we could actually form into our own little tribes uh, without worrying that some ban hammer from some giant tech company is going to come and just swat us away. That's where we're at these days. It's really a terrible thing, and that's why I like the decentralization. Uh, my theory has always been, look, I'm going to use whatever platform they'll let me to where I reach the most amount of people until they ban me. And the quartering's right on this, that like, look, a, lo a lot of people do rally uh, when you do get banned, and that's a great thing. I love that everybody's been rallying hard behind Ricada, that they've been uh, showing up on Rumble uh, and Odyssey for him and showing up on Locals for him. Uh, but when you aren't banned at that moment, uh, you know, is really the time to get everybody uh, moving. And that's what a leader does. And so that's really cool. So I've got a bunch of alternatives also. Uh, so I appreciate what the, the, the quartering's doing here. And uh, we're going to show very much the same thing. Look, we'll still be here. I'm not, I'm not going anywhere. Uh, I'm going to be as loud as possible everywhere I can be until they ban me. I've been banned uh, from Twitter before, got that suspension uh, revoked. Uh, I've been banned from the World Science Fiction Convention. I can't even go sell com like my comics and books at a lot of conventions because you know the the mainstream publishing industry uh, can't even that I exist. It's really funny. Uh, and I've also been banned from Patreon. I've been banned from Indiegogo selling my comic books. It makes it difficult. Uh, it definitely does, and it's really scary because the less platforms that I exist upon. Uh, the less I can get seen, the less that people can see the comics and the work that we're doing here. Uh, and, you know, this is why we need the alternatives. So, look, I've got a bunch of alternatives that I love to support. You can see some of them down here. You see uh, Gab, Subscribestar. Uh, those are some some ones. I'm on Discord. Uh, you know, I know I know Discord's not a very popular one, but honestly, we have a great community over there. Uh, and it's working. Uh, we, you know, we try to be careful uh, so we don't get banned over there. But uh, it is working. It's great. I love being able to interact with all of you who hang out. It's good stuff. But let's check out Gab uh, for the first part. This is like a Twitter alternative. And there's a bunch of stuff like this out there now. Uh, Locals is kind of getting a little bit of that community sort of organization going, which is nice. 
But here it is. And I, you know, I think I'm going to start a locals account that the company's actually reached out to me. Uh, so I need, I need to get on that. I just haven't had time yet. Uh, but uh, it's different when you're a creator, like actually focusing on books and things like that. Uh, it's a little different than when you're just uh, doing reporting stuff. Uh, so bear with me, my friends. But this Gab, I've been on Gab since the beginning, uh, since like 2017. And uh, this is my favorite sort of Twitter alternative platform. They let you kind of speak and say what you want. You see, I'm posting my videos. There's my Make Science Fiction Fun Again hats that we're doing. Uh, there's a Tucker Carlson meme that's uh, banned from Facebook at this point. I made another video on that. This is a good site, and uh, it's got all the capabilities of Twitter. It's got DMs. It's got groups. It's got everything. Uh, I absolutely love Gab and promote it. Uh, this is a good spot to be, and I like it, and I like being over there. So definitely sign up for there if you haven't already. Uh, what we got next is my Odyssey account. Now, I know a lot of people are moving to Rumble, but uh, and you see I don't get a ton of views on here, but I do get more views here than I do on my Rumble account. So because of that, I do like Odyssey better. It just is what it is. I actually made my first exclusive video the other day for Odyssey, uh, and it's because we were talking about Kanye West and the banks banning him. There's some things I didn't think I could say on YouTube, so I made a special video called Kanye's Unpersoning over there, uh, just because I thought that's a good thing. I'm going to try that. I know the quartering's making his one rumble video a week. Maybe I'm going to make a one exclusive Odyssey video a week, try to do the same thing and support that platform that's different too. It's a good site, and uh, I'll put that link in the description below for you guys too. And then my favorite, of course, is Subscribestar because, like, yeah, I mean, we're doing our reporting. We're talking about cultural topics. But Subscribestar is really, like, where I'm trying to produce, like, my actual content. Yesterday I wrote a Star Trek fan fiction uh, just for the people there. Uh, and of course, then I've got my Immortal Edge book that I just uh, put out for everybody. Uh, I give my updates on my books. This is all book oriented, and uh, you know that that's difficult to get people to pay attention to at times. Uh, but that's where we want to be. Uh, so my thought with Subscribestar is like a dream, where I would love to get 300 subscribers on there. That's the number that I can make comics every month, uh, and that covers all the art costs and all that. So then everything else is just me being able to make a living at this. And that's, wh that's where we really want to be. If that can happen, uh, we can really start expanding this empire to like really new heights and really making something that's going to be different than everybody else because there will be a lot more coming. Uh, I'm known as one of the most prolific writers out there in the independent sphere. And uh, I want to get the stuff produced and out there to you guys. So this is a good spot to be. Subscribe, Star. This is the Patreon alternative, and I absolutely love it. So that's what we're doing. We've been doing this all along. I, I work in parallel uh, with what's going on here. If somebody bans me here, bans me on Indiegogo or whatever it is, uh, we have alternatives set up and ready to go. And these are the ones that we're doing right now. So if there's somewhere you want me to be, I will do my best to do that. Um, just caveat that I do have limited time. So uh, <laughs> there's only so much I could set up. I'm looking into it. Uh, we'll try to get locals up and running. But I do appreciate what the quarter ring's doing because he's not banned uh, nobody's actually giving him strikes or anything, and yet he's trying to lead the charge to push these alternative platforms. That's a good thing. And look, uh, Jeremy and I have disagreed quite a bit in, a, in the past. Uh, that's happened, uh, and that's okay. I, I like to give credit where credit's due. And uh, yeah, this is a great decentralization moving forward. I think it's healthy for the internet to be like that, and I can't wait to see what's to come uh, in the future. We're going to be the early adopters. We're going to be the first ones out there, guys. Uh, blazing new trails, both creatively in our books and our comics and our other media and in what we're reporting on and what platforms we're using. It's cool stuff. Leave a comment down below, guys. I'd love to hear from you. Where do you want me to be? Uh, I'm happy to do my best to be there. And uh, I want to support you guys. You guys are the ones who support me. Uh, so tell me what to do. Uh, you're my boss. I love this. That's so that's, <laughs> it's always the customers first, right? I mean, that's what the corporations don't see in us. They see us as numbers that they can exploit. But I see you as people that I want to help foster and grow community with and people that I want to do what you want me to do. I mean, that's 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 the transactional relationship, isn't it? You'd think. You're, you'd think. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Jeremy, for making this video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you being there. We will be back soon.